Hey everyone, this is Craig with GottaBeMobile.com and I'm going to quickly show you how to save maps for offline use in Google Maps. It's really easy to do. All you need to do is well, first find the area that you want to save. Um, in this instance, um, we're going to use Fort Wayne, Indiana, which is where I live, as uh, the example. So once you have the area in your view on the screen, You'll go up to this little profile icon with the dude up here and just scroll all the way down and there'll be a section that says offline maps. And then you'll just click save map to use offline and then you'll select your area that you want. It's saying that the area is too large so what I need to do is I need to zoom in. So I'm just going to zoom in and now Okay, now it's saying that it's good. I can save it. So I'll click save. I'll give it a name. Fort Wayne. And then click save. And it takes about 10 to 15 seconds to save a map offline, depending on how big the area is that you save. So almost done and it's saved. So now when I go back to this uh, my profile and then go all the way down it'll have Fort Wayne in the um, list right there. So to try this out let's get out of here. We'll close maps. We will turn off Wi-Fi and data will keep will keep the uh, location services on because you actually need that in order to use Google Maps in the first place. So we'll go back to Google Maps, open it up, and yeah, it'll tell us that we don't have Wi-Fi. So we don't have a signal right now. We don't have LTE. We don't have Wi-Fi. Nothing. So as an example, if I were to Browse some place that I didn't save offline, such as Cincinnati. We'll say it. Um, it doesn't do a whole lot. It's pixely. It's blurry. It doesn't load the city streets, the surface streets. Um, not that helpful. But if we go back to Fort Wayne, where I saved the maps for offline, you can see it'll save every single detail. You have the streets, everything. And I'll save the different zoom levels, which is really handy to have when uh, you don't have a, uh, a data signal. The only problem with offline maps is that you can't search for specific places. So if I were to go up here, you know, type in, uh, you know, Burger King or something, um, it wouldn't work. And I also can't get directions. Uh, when using offline maps. So that's something to be aware of. It really only acts like a fold-out paper map that you would have, except it's all digital on your touchscreen. That's pretty much what it's like. Um, again, this is offline maps using Google Maps. You can check out gotabemobile.com for more. Thanks.